Hey, what's going on, Beowulf Nation? I am Beowulf. Back at it with another video. You already seen the description. Installing jet trim, seat cover, RXPX 300. This thing is gonna look so cool. Um, it has a carbon fiber, and it has this material. It's like super grippy. I cannot wait to ride with this on here. Um, I'm already doing procedure right here on the stock seat. Luckily, my other garage, I got this. This is a perfect working spot for installing this. Perfect light for filming. Um, there's a strap that was on the seat that goes over the top. This was riveted on. So what I had to do is um, drill it out. It was the only way to break the rivet out. Um, I decided to get the vacuum to uh, get all this... I'm gonna clean up all the metal uh, dust and stuff before taking this apart. But basic tools you'll need is um, like a flathead. Uh, if you see my last video, I picked up at Home Depot um, air powered uh, staple gun. You gotta use stainless steel staples on this. Um, I might use a, you just need like a flathead and to get these going is just uh, maybe a little bit smaller one. The compl complicated thing would be getting these staples out without ruining the seat. Yeah, I think once you get them out of routine. But you just use pliers to get out, like if you can't get it fully out. On suppliers is the other tool you need. I might use a different flathead that's a little bit smaller because like a lot of these nook and crannies are going to be complicated and it's going to be I'm glad I got the staple gun like I did because a lot of these spots are going to be complex to get into stapling them um, but there's going to be a lot of staples that have to be used also too I've never done this before this is my first time and instead of going on false street press it's all cut like exactly where you would see you'd have this staple um, with it. And from what I've seen, what you have to do is the main important thing is the center, the top there, which would be right up in here. Um, yeah, it's going to be this how this is shaped. This is it's going to definitely make this very uh, difficult. But you can tell that this is like the crucial first staple and the nice thing too is how the seat is shaped it'll kind of get it where you know where all this is this is a little accessory where they protects the seat i'm and it doesn't look like it's stapled in i might keep this in or not but it does protect your corners um but when i see people install these they don't use these again so i'm probably not going to reuse them um i'll make sure i take really good care of the new seat but my goal was to do this myself and um, install it myself instead of going to a positive shop that I don't really know what the, how much they would charge. It's all made. But also, too, when I look, there's no videos of how to install a jet trim seat cover on any personal watercraft, jet ski, wave runner, sea dude, whatever you want to all call it. Who really cares? They're all jet skis to me. But um, yeah, I figure this is kind of just a fun thing to do myself. And uh, it's probably gonna be like, I'm not gonna film it all tonight, it's really late. And I, my air compressor, I really don't wanna be not having people able to sleep because uh, it's running. So maybe, um, see this is another corners they got here too. See this other material, it's kind of crazy how the sea, sea dude cover is, is built. Now, I don't know if I'll reuse these. I think this is all part of of the seat, which I don't really think you'll have to um, because I think this thing is, you know, the, your corners are gonna be shaped completely different of how this material is, and it's really nice. Um, it's padded in the inside, so it, it'll feel a lot better than the stock seat. So I am really, really excited. So, um, yeah, let's start popping all these things out. All right, finally got all the staples out. Um, this ended up being the best 
thing to use to get them out. Um, and then I use what I put there. I have a my heavier duty pliers that I was using. I'm not sure where I stuff. Here we go. This is what I use to pull the staples out. But they're all over. I mean, all up in here. Um, I didn't film the whole thing taking them out. Oh, wait. I'll show you guys a couple. I get them all out. It's kind of a two hand job. But yeah. I think that was the last ones. There were just so many. But they're all over. So I mean, you have to staple like here and here. Um, the crazy thing too is this is really damp. Like the whole pad. Which I'm pretty shocked. Um, it's like, but you can show how thin this material is. Let me move this over there to start drying. And I'll just kind of show you the comparison of the stock seat cover to the jet trim one. Alright, so I pulled that off. I got a, my fan I used, so I'm going to dry this out. But you can tell, like, this is like, it's not as damp there, but like, super damp in here. And I've been running a fan in here for days, so it's actually, I don't know if that's normal with it having that much. There are these tabs, that's how the stock seat and the jet stream one goes into there. It's so crazy. Uh, but it really shows what the seat really looks like when there's no seat cover on it. Um, but that's the new one that's going on. Hopefully it's real easy to put on, but here we go. So this is the stock one. I have to get a broom to get all these staples up. But it's like crazy how um, thin this material is to when you actually see like how it's... It's like really thin you can see me that's why the water is coming in um, but when you look at this see how that has like a pad and stuff on there so it's a lot a lot thicker um, material so it's probably gonna feel a lot different riding um, if somebody's looking for a stock trim cover I mean I'll sell this if somebody wants it I don't think I put it back on and I think on See do site you cannot just buy this you have to um you have to buy the um the whole entire seat i don't think they just sell just the seat cover but uh this is for sale if somebody wants to buy it man i just can't wait till tomorrow putting this one on uh it's a little too late now um that's why i didn't film this I, there are so many staples to pull out of there and i figured just to get that done tonight and i figured hopefully i could dry this as much because it might make it easier when I have to put it on uh, drying it so that's why I'm gonna let it run with the fan and then hopefully by tomorrow um, I'm gonna have put another fan up here too and uh, man I'm gonna just like double up I got all these like shop fans I'm gonna make sure this thing's like really dry um, to put it on but it's gonna still be one whole video but man I'm you can tell I'm sweaty I got a like, heat advisor it's freaking 1130 at night <sighs> man and I'm gonna just knock this out tomorrow and my the video after this is gonna be the first time we're riding this too. So let's call it a night and then I'll finish it all tomorrow morning. All right, so it's the next day. I've had this thing dried out pretty good. It's not as damp as it was before, um, but it's pretty crazy how damp it was getting um, with the stock seat cover. So I got all the staples pulled out. Um, it's all dried. Now with the how the stock seat cover works and the jet trim one, is there see you can see how there's openings right here this comes up and there are these tabs that come on the seat cover and this is how same similar to what the stock seat cover is so you have these tabs this is the first thing you want to do installing this is putting these tabs in place to get it kind of fitting right like I've said before I've never done this before so I got the staple gun uh, I'll connect it up and let's see if I can knock this out and do it myself. All right, so the first step you want to do when installing this is getting these corners in first. Because um, this is, before you do the tabs, it's kind of like you got to get this, especially on this design seat, um, from what I'm seeing is you get these corners put in, line the material up around there. And I think I got it pretty good. I mean, just trying to. Like I said, I've never done this before, so I, I guarantee you this has to be 
staple dead center. And I think that's the crucialest thing. Um, put both the tabs in. Um, so basically, I think, I think what you want to do is lay your first um, staple. I mean, it just looks so nice. I can't wait to get it on. And I really want to go riding today. Hopefully I got enough light. Um, I think once I get this kind of going with some staples, it's going to be pretty straightforward. The nice thing is if I make a mistake, I mean, I can always pull a staple out. But I'm just trying to figure out, like, how you would start in this this area. So I'm just trying to figure out, I mean, I think basically it's knowing this is lying straight and knowing I got this just right. But it looks, so I think that's basically, and it looks pretty centered, centered on. I mean, I'm just trying to figure out how I'm pushing down this material, but I'm also wondering too if it's maybe made to be a little loose like that, or it comes to when this is all starts pulling. I mean, the good thing is the tabs in there, tabs in there. So, I mean, it's all kind of coming together, but I think what you want to do is like either start start right up in here because this is kind of like laying the groundwork. I mean, I think I got it all tucked in there. Well, let's lay my first staple and see if I can even, the staple gun even works. Um, but you can see the outline of where the past staples were. So it's kind of giving you an idea of like probably how much this material needs to be pushed um, I don't know if we're stapling in the exact same spot but basically I think you have to use one hand and just be folding this down because uh, those staples are up tighter up there so I'm guessing like for sure getting this this area I think is the crucialest because it's not going to move once I get it and I'm trying to push it is there a lot of yanking, but not where you're going to tear it, yanking. But I think it's like, it looks, I'm so glad with the color combo I went with, though. It's going to look so cool when it's done. It's so grippy. All right, not bad for my first time. Um, it's just, I'm going to go, I outline this just because I don't want to cut the material, just in case I've ever had to redo stuff, but I'm going to restaple. Similar like I did here. Um, it just so it grips the best and something doesn't come loose over time um, You don't need a staple down this end, but I have to say it's turning out for my first time I was I was a little intimidated with by doing this is that I've never really done any type of upholstery But I mean it's it's tied up in here. It's fitting good Now it's just figuring out this but I think the farther I get down um, The biggest thing is it's nice and tight right up in here the crucial spots um, and I think I did it pretty perfect I'm pretty impressed by how far I'm doing it. it's looking good um, yeah, I'd have to say so far with this if you're new to this this is I wouldn't do this unless you really like challenge yourself I like challenge myself I don't like I, as much stuff as I can do myself I will do and um, yeah oh it's just this is probably the hardest part um, is this whole area because this was the hardest to take the staples out last night um, we're gonna do a little there and then show you guys more of the process work but I'll show you guys um, it's real hard to kind of show you but now it's easier with having this in you just kind of push up in there push kind of not too hard but enough that you put in force boom boom Boom, boom, boom. The goal is just to get this material like, if you're a pro and you probably did this for a living, you probably say I'm not doing it right. To me, okay. I think I'm out of, gotta reload with staples, but this gets you guys an idea of how this is all gonna look. It's not total Frankenstein-ish, but it's, hey, I'm happy with how it looks.
You're not looking at this part when it's on the, on the jet ski. All right, now some updates. I pretty much got about to hear on both areas. When you're doing something like this, um, you really got to see, it should be like down this line is how it should be pulled. Um, you tell. It's very time consuming. You might have to pull staples out to go back in it. But basically, it's hard to show doing this, not having both hands, is you kind of pull up and then you got to have one hand and then the other hand is using the, um, so like that staple I have to redo. It didn't get in there all the way because I was doing it from the other angle. It's so hard because it's like, and it's super hot out right now, so my hands get, you want to have dry hands when you're doing this. Um, but see like, you basically, well see these are where the staples were before on it. So you'll pull up, but you got to kind of go little by little and then pull up as far as you can like this. Like I'd have my hand and then I'd use that as hit a staple down. Um, but you kind of kind of go in a motion, get so far, especially now where I'm at, it's kind of like you go a little ways. The other thing I want to show too, before it gets too far installed, the one thing, and this is when I was on the market of looking for a seat cover, the one thing that Jet Trim has that they told me that no other company has is there's this pad. And I already showed this in the video, but um, there are two different colored pads. So that will give it a little bit more um, different of a feel. Um, I'm very excited about using this and seeing this is like super gri grippy like you can't even I'm pushing I'm at full force but I mean it's not moving it really grips so it's gonna be awesome riding with this seat and I think the colors are gonna look really cool also I'm doing partial wrap possibly sneak peek um, on the RXPX in certain areas to match this um, purple carbon fiber if I haven't talked to vinyl shop yet if they can even do it but there's some ideas I think also too is I'm gonna be pulling up all the graphics it's anything CD related like Rotec XPS Rotec power IBR CD if you're giving come me the check I leave it on but hey it's like you pay for this and um, it looks cool how it comes but I mean I kind of want to do a little bit more custom stuff um, doing stuff to get people to kind of know about me or uh, if companies want to sponsor me that I could focus putting them on the jet ski so it's not always about my business being focused even other companies that sponsor that I put onto the ski so um, that's kind of where I'm having the focus of what I want to be doing graphics but make it look it's super cool at the same time um, but that's a little what's going on this is pretty, I have to say, this is, is to, for doing this where it's almost 100 degrees outside, I'm actually having a lot of fun. Got a fan on me, keeping keeping me from like sweating like crazy. Um, but it's like, I, the, the most exciting part is like I'm almost there. I have to say I'm nearly, uh, I'm at, the, I think I'm at the halfway mark of where I'm at finishing this. Um, but it's neat because I've seen, I've seen a couple of videos on YouTube before doing this, so just in general jet ski things and I'm kind of one of those person if I kind of see kind of how something was done just like a little thing if somebody visually shows me I can figure out how to do it um, I'm not really like a textbook person um, to me I'm like visual if I see it like slightly how you could do it I can figure it out how it all works and um, there's no videos I looked there's no videos with jet trim showing how to install um, the seat cover on a sea do Yamaha, Kawasaki, you know, there's not really a lot. So that's why I figured, hey, I'll do something. And maybe that people who do this for a living don't want to show how you do this. Or that, like, I have to be really patient. Like, it's really hard to physically be doing it at the same time and filming. I probably could, but it's like, I'd have to do the mouthpiece with my GoPro. Now, because I'm filming my eyes while I'm action right now. I could, but I mean, it's... A lot of it's like really focused because otherwise it wrecks the whole pattern but you guys kind of get an idea and if it's not that hard I mean the lines not perfect um, like what's when how the seat was but also too is like this material is like super um, super thin but they're not they're not all that accurate too when they're stapling them they're kind of see like they're real close here and then they're kind of gapped out here so I mean it's I have to say though is the stock seat 
it's like torn in multiple spots. I might do a video showing how you could repair this um, yourself instead of going to a, a, a vinyl shop or a upholstery shop how to do this. And then I'm planning on um, you know, selling this, is what I'm guessing I'm gonna do with this one. But it, this is really thin material, super thin. This is, you can just see how much thicker this is. This is really nice quality stuff. Nice upgrade. I've seen a lot of people where they just do straight black and I'm like, oh man, I gotta do something cool with it. So I thought the purple carbon fiber is the way to go. All right, so got it done. I'm gonna fix a few little things. Um, but what I had to do at the end, the back part of the seat, I had to do a zip tie. There's like a guard that comes down in the front there. Um, it was the only way to get it. Um, those staples at the back. I'll show you guys where they were. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. Man, it looks so good. So I was talking about areas I need to fix. Um, you really wouldn't have to, but I just want to get stuff as perfect as possible uh, the first time going. I'm going to try to like getting this a little bit different um, if I can. Um, I'm going to try, so it's basically going to remove like staples right from there to there and redo it. Um, not so much here. There you could, but I think that was like only where, where I could get it. I'm going to take a look underneath and just see. Um, yeah, but it's it turned out, and here too, it, it fit into place like it was supposed to. Um, but yeah, it's all nice and tight. Um, really good. I mean, that's what I was afraid of is like up in here. Everything is like really nice, and it looks just so awesome. I'll have to say... Jet trim is really nice, and from everybody was telling me, like they're number one in the industry, and you can definitely tell this thing looks so cool. And it's like really nice where it's the same seat, it's just the whole skin of the seat is now different. There was one I was looking at online or on Instagram, I think I found something, and it's ones that racers use where the, it's a whole new seat, and it's like where it humps up, like right in here. Um, that's originally what I was going to do. I don't know if I'm still going to do that. It's just a different style seat to just change it up. Um, but everything turned out looking really good. I mean, that's probably just right there. If I could just flatten that out where it just doesn't look like a wrinkle. And it looks perfect. Um, I'll show you guys underneath all the remaining of the staples of what I did uh, with it. But I'm really happy how this thing turned out. So I might pull out some of these ones here. Like this one wasn't going to end. So that's what I was talking about is how it was hard to get in there with this uh, gun without modifying it because some of these areas like way up in here was really hard to get to uh, like this couple of these I'm gonna pull out and actually try to get a couple in there a little tighter up in there but basically the area where I have to pull the staples out is like right in this this area so probably from like here to see, like there I'm gonna pull all these out and redo that spot and just get it perfect. I'm also gonna go in there and just get out like, let's see, there's my tool I can show you guys. There we go. Here's the crazy tool. So like, I'm gonna get that one out of there and just basically go through any ones that were like, not like, see that one that's not that perfect. So I'll have to come back into this area and get a couple more staples. So that's why I'm gonna go along checking um, with it, but this is kind of where all the staples are and for Myself first time doing this and I've never done upholstery ever in my life I wouldn't say it's like easy. I wouldn't say it's super hard. I Was really going into this job thinking it was gonna be really 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 hard and uh, Actually to be honest in the beginning of the video I don't even know if I, I might have to go in a upholstery shop that I was not able to do this and to tell you guys that I did it. It's not perfect, but you never even know. I might have done a better job than a local upholstery shop would have done. Um, but you kind of see where all the staples are. And this is the, see here's, there's one. Pull. This is where I was talking about where it was so hard to get into. And actually the, the hardest part of the whole seat, I have to say was right at the tail end. Cause it was kind of getting a little bunched up with some of the material. And I think that's kind of why it caused um, 
this and kind of the um, routine I was going through with this was doing like a small area here and then going over here. You can't just go around. You have to be like back forth, back forth. So this is where I think this one got a little messed up and pulling them all out will fix it. Let me do that and I'll show you guys what it'll look like uh, after doing that. Right, so pull those out and it, from here it looks like it's as good as I'm going to get it. It looks improved. Um, kind of went through everything checking it. So this is the seat. Um, let me flip it over and I'll show you guys what I'll close up look at what it looks like and then I'm going to put it right on the ski and see what it looks like. All right, so here we go. Oh man, it looks so good. Let's see if we improve that one area right there. Yeah, it looks, it looks perfect now. Definitely, man, I am impressed. Definitely, I hope this video helps people. I didn't show like total details because it was really hard to, um, like there's a lot of pulling when you're pulling the material to do underneath there. It was, that was probably not the, um, the easiest of things and that's kind of where I did too with this seat um, why it wasn't this originally uh, jet trim was thinking that I should have done the trim like this on the back so it would have gone like to here and the reason why I didn't do that is I really don't put people on the back on this so I, and I thought it makes it look twice as cooler having a design like that and that's cool that they can do uh, custom seats to all different things and you can see clothes they got the purple stitching definitely really custom originally i was going to do some embroidering on it doing the um wolf uh, my iron bay wolf wolf logo was going to go right here and they were telling me how embroidering over time could get um change and even here you can see this is like a screen printed on how that is and then this is a patch um that's sewn in so you could have probably done And somebody coming through my neighborhood with big old side by side with loud exhausts and lights. Um, yeah, so this is this the seat. So let's get it on the ski. Yeah, that looks really sharp. I've already jumped on. You can tell by my feet marks. I jumped on and sat on it. Wow, it feels like a completely different design seat with this. And I think the colors go pretty cool. It's not, bright colors aren't for everybody, and I think the purple really goes in with the yellow. Because um, you got yellow, black, there's some gray, now there's some purple. And definitely I think that, uh, the color looks cool than being like a straight black seat. Um, where it just gives it that kind of cool thing. And also too, uh, the 2020 CDs, there are going to be certain ones where are going to be purple. So I actually, I did all this before knowing kind of what's coming out with the 2020 CDs. So definitely it's going to look really sharp and looking for, uh, similar to what the newer skis colors are going to be. I think this one, it won't come anymore in this color. It's going to be green, but they're going to be a straight purple, uh, some model sea do. I know that for a fact. So I think that's pretty cool um, how that thing all looks. Stay tuned to future videos with seeing more details with that. But also too, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, now that I have this giveaway going on, this is gonna end on August 18th. Uh, this is a seat cover for a 2018 and up RXTX 300. Um, now, how to enter this, it's free to enter. What you have to do to enter to, to get the giveaway, to enter to get the giveaway is you have to um, be a subscriber, you have to like the video, you have to comment. Positive comments is how you're going to win with this. Negative stuff, you're going to get disqualified. Doesn't make any sense. Don't spam it either. To uh, You get disqualified with entering the winners. But it's completely free. Um, and I'm going to pick a winner. And you can actually go past the past videos too. And then like them uh, and comment in the account. So make sure you check that out. Also too, man, I'm super sweaty. What a great time to plug it. Um, but check out I Am Babel. Dot com. I have all my merch, t-shirts, tank tops, uh, hoodies, and hats. Um, check that out. Also, too, give me a follow on Instagram. It's I am underscore Baywolf. And also, too, I have an Amazon store where I sell like all different types of accessories and whatnot for jet skiing. Even if it's not for jet skiing, there's like survival stuff in there. Make sure to check that out. There's so much to list that's on there. Uh, but that is Amazon.com slash shops 
slash I am Beowulf. So make sure you take a look at that and uh, be driven to win. Oh man, I'm hot. I need a shower. I need to clean this up too because my garage, I got their staples all over. I got to pull my Jeep back in the garage. I don't want to get a um, flat tire with that. But good luck on the giveaway. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to remember too, every day is Earth Day. See any trash, pick it up. It'll help change the planet to make it a better place for everybody. I'll see you guys back in the next one. Peace out, Beowulf Nation.